So this week I decided to make this up as I went. Being in the music really, really, really matters. Remind yourself that, for one, there is this mentality of I just have to get it done. I just have to get it done. I've got to just get through it. I'm gonna, I'm going to win all the games by way of I will keep going longer than anyone else keeps going, and that's how I'll get there. And then when I turn 80 or I turn 90 and I'm reflecting on my life, make or create any of the space to do the deep, real, conscious work. I lived my life in a way that I just was doing the, the, what I thought was the next thing that I was supposed to do to just keep going, keep going. This happens in your schedules, your personal schedules, your relationships, your jobs, your kids, your kids' activities, all of the places, including your workout. I'm just going to do the next rep. I'm just going to do the next thing. Well, that is going to backfire. <laughs> what we do here each week is we, we always are creating some space for you to have the opportunity to get into yourself, to have the opportunity to do the tough and deep work. You go to the first two moves and you're like, this is an intermediate. I don't do that anymore. I'm too old for that. This is impossible. First of all, to hop like that, what you knew to do as a child, use your arms, okay? You've got to understand how strong your arms are and how smart your hands and fingers are. If you communicate to your body more and getting it done properly, not just getting it done, you will create this really strong relationship with all these intricate mechanics that you have inside of you that will in turn, just like if you eat better, you poop out more calories here, if you move through the intricacies, your thermal regulating system, your metabolism will become a regulated burning machine for your health. You are on your hands and fingers and you're organizing your shoulder girdle. So much of that, that, that balance and that strength and that pose gets you to there, right? I'm not asking you to do handstands or anything like that, but I am asking you to put the power through your hands and fingers to organize your shoulder girdle and get on those bones, right? I hear all these people, oh, shouldn't I start lifting because I'm getting your menopause? Well, what the hell is that? You just, I just lifted 75 freaking pounds. I just did it in motion and in protection of my spine because the relationship between my body and its levers to itself is the most intelligent design you will ever see, but it is one of the most miraculous designs, our body, right? So our spine is meant to do that, it's meant to bend in that position. We are meant to be able to do those things, right? Don't judge and don't go, I'm going to dismiss the intricacies of this move because I just need to keep going and surely the next move will not be like these first two, which I didn't like, right? So try and get in there and try and do it. That's number one. Number two, I just realized a few things. Jacqueline Novak's get on your knees. <laughs> I have been doing it the hound dog way for a long time. Get ready, baby. I just realized that this is no doggy style. I am doing it the hound dog's way. So many of you are just doing it doggy style, doggy style, doggy style, doggy style. I'm so sorry to go there, but I am going there. Because you have to take charge of, the, of this all fours position. You have to take charge. You that energy to your whole core and to that stance and to where you're going and watch her show. There ain't no doggy style in my life anymore. I have a freaking hound dog that knows its way. There is a move that I do need to help guide you gently to create space, okay? And this is one where I'm real picky about, I call it, well it is, my ego. I like my waist to go in, okay? And boy, am I not gonna let menopause tell it that it can't go in anymore. If I have anything to say about it, it will still go there. So this is an important, move for me where I'm organizing my shoulder girdle. I am holding this ankle right here and then I'm lifting my hip out against it and holy moly is that you can feel these tiny little muscles in your transversus are going like we oh, yeah, have to contract inwards we gotta go in but I'm using all of this force against them right and look, you don't pay to grow with me. You don't really care about growing. You want my ability to design your body and, and my ability to give you really damn good chances to be moving longer in life. I am a living, breathing, opinionated human being. I'm a person, so that's your problem. You need to get past that I'm a person. Take the things that you 
want or need from me, but do it for yourself. Dr. Shafali is the first guest on my new podcast called The Longevity Game, which is playing wherever you get your podcasts. And you guys probably are like, oh yay, Tracy Anderson's gonna do, get all these experts on, they're gonna give me all these tutorials about how to live super long, wrong. Because none of that is real, first of all. So I'm going to be talking to really interesting people that I want to learn from and learn with about how we can have a better chance to live longer and not look back and go, what the f did I do with my life? I can't get a redo. I can't do it over. I want people to have the, the conversations now be that I want to incorporate that now to be more preventative so that I don't look back. If I do get a long life, I wasn't just doing the things to get a long life. I actually lived a life that I loved living. And there's like tons of emotion and love and pride and feelings and significance like when you transition, right? The movement, the conscious parenting is really, really, really amazing. But it brings to me this last lesson that I want you to do while you're in the music, okay? Because a lot of people are like... Why isn't she telling us what to do? In this tutorial-driven society that we live in, give me a tutorial. I need a tutorial. The tutorial is learn how to move in your freaking self. Learn how to do it yourself. You do not want to be moving to somebody else's code, consciousness, commentary, conventional wisdom. You want to find it in yourself. And you will really regenerate the cycle. You will really get there. If you lean on the resource that is probably the most giving to us in process, which is music, there's a rhythm that is refiring your engine, you know, as things are passing by you, as things get tough, don't just go and keep going and keep, keep going, keep going. I wish someone were telling me what to do. Just stop and expand and create space to just get yourself into the music, emotionally get yourself into the music. Connect your code, which has it in you, to the music and move and find your actual way. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. That's my good, right?